In this section of the course, we will be talking about something which is called a built-in function in PHP. Like I've said before, when we talked about functions, we have two different types. In the previous section, we talked about user-defined functions, which are functions that are made by the user. And in this section of the course, I want to focus on predefined functions or built-in functions. You can call them both in PHP. These are functions that exist in PHP installation package, so you already have them on your local host. There are a couple categories regarding the predefined functions, and I want to focus on these in the next couple of episodes. So we got string functions, and these are functions that are used to manipulate string values. On the left hand side of my screen, I'm on the official website of PHP under the internal built in functions, and if I click on string, you can see that PHP has a lot of built-in functions regarding strings. And of course, I won't be discussing them all, but I will discuss the functions that may be useful for what we are going to do. We also have math functions that are functions that return a numeric value. Numeric PHP functions can be used to format numbers, return constants, or perform mathematical computations. So let me give you an example. You can convert all string characters to lowercase or uppercase. You can also return a part of a string. You can replace specific string values. You can count the number of characters in a string, which will be pretty handy if you want to set a minimum length on a password, for instance. We have date functions. The PHP date function is used to format a date or time into a human readable format. It can be used to display the date of an article, for instance, or the last updated data in a database, or you can see whenever a user has registered on your website. Now that we've learned working with arrays, indexed arrays, and associative arrays, we want to dive deeper into them and learn about the built-in functions for arrays in order for processing. And the last function that we will be focusing on is the random number generator. If you want to work with algorithms, you will often come across situations when you need to generate random integers. And like I said before, there are more than 1000 predefined functions in PHP, and since I can't cover them all, and I really do not even know them all, I recommend you to go to the internal built-in function link on the PHP official website where you can find more about it. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, Leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.